We are back with truly a special anniversary. When she was five years old, Emily Whitehead was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. After two years of unsuccessful chemotherapy, Emily's health was rapidly declining. So her parents turned to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia for help. They learned about a clinical trial involving CAR T-cell therapy, which genetically alters a patient's white blood cells to fight cancer cells. In April 2012, Emily became the first pediatric patient in the world to receive the highly experimental treatment. Well, now Emily is 17 years old and just yesterday celebrated a huge milestone. 10 years cancer-free. Yes. This morning. Yay. Round of applause. Yes. In a Today exclusive, Emily is here along with her parents, Tom and Carrie and Dr. Stephen Grupp, uh, Emily's oncologist and director of cancer immunotherapy at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. There Thank you go. all for for coming in this morning. Thanks for having us. Lots Absolutely. Of to celebrate for sure. Absolutely. Okay, so first things first, Emily, you're now 10 years uh, cancer free. Yes. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Um, I'm really healthy. Uh, I'm driving now. I got my driver's license in <gasps> oh, January. Of course. No, scary. So. <laughs> Something else to worry yes, about. I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm very healthy. And so, Tom, you know, in those first few years of Emily's illness, uh, doctors told you Emily didn't have a lot of time left. Uh, so, with so many unknowns, what kept you guys going? Well, you know, we stuck together as a family, and uh, Carrie was our science and research part of it, and I was in charge of hope and positivity, and uh, we just, you know, we weren't going to uh, accept anything but a good outcome, and we did a lot of research and then trusted our instincts, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, sticking together and seeing Emily, the way she was willing to fight, and, uh, you know, we just uh, kept going, and uh, it was really brutal for a long time, but... Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were so thankful that when we finally uh, were out of options at our local hospital that uh, the uh, CAR T-cell trial had opened the day before I texted oh, them wow. and said, we're not wow. ready to go home on hospice because they said, you know, we're going to send you home and enjoy the mm. days you have left with Emily. Wow. Mm. So, Dr. Grupp, this CAR T-cell therapy, it sounds like a game changer. Is this, did it just happen to work for Emily or is this a game changer? Well, it's a great question. And so... I feel like it is a game changer for blood cancers. So mm -hmm. leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma, mm -hmm. there are now multiple CAR-T products. The first one was the one that we actually gave Emily that became the first FDA-approved product. Wow. That's for leukemia. And so for those diseases, for patients not who start their therapy but who relapse or have disease that is not in, under control, it's a great new therapy, brand new, something that we haven't done before and quite successful. Does it work for everybody? Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. But the key thing is, how can we make this work for uh, diseases like breast cancer or lung mm. cancer? And that's kind of what we're going to be doing over the next five to ten years. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Thank God for scientists, researchers, <laughs> right. everyone. Carrie, I know it's your mission now to help other families. I'm sure when you meet other families, they look at you guys. You know, how did you get through? What did you do? Everybody needs advice and wisdom. What's your mission now? Yeah, our mission is just to spread awareness of CAR T cell therapy um, because we have families from all over the world reaching out to us after they heard about mm -hmm. Emily's story, you know, 10 years ago. And to this day, we still have one or two families a week reaching out to us saying, how can we get this Absolutely. therapy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doctor, what does the future look like for this, this therapy? You were talking about, you know, it, using it for other cancers. But, you know, how do you, how do you move that, that ball forward? Right. And so... Uh, this was first approved in kids, which never happens with a, dr a drug like this. So mm -hmm. that was exciting for us. We're treating more and more kids. We've treated 500 kids almost at, at CHOP now, and uh, somewhere between 15 and uh, 20,000 patients, adults and pediatrics across the world. Uh, we want to spread this you know, to safely to other hospitals around the planet, which we've been working on. But I think the big goal is to have this work in a broader range of cancers. And since this is brand new, we just have to figure out how to do that. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is a game changer for the patients that we're able to help right now. Uh, we, we really need to broaden the access for other patients who can get this. Would you call it a cure? Uh, I believe that Emily is cured of her leukemia. Yeah. Uh, is it a cure for everyone? That's not how any of these things yes. work. But we have patients who are five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten years out. Yeah. And that uh, feels like a cure to me. Mm -hmm. So let's celebrate. Last week you had your 17th birthday. Yes. You said mm -hmm. you're driving now. I mean, mm -hmm. what, 
the, the world is yours now. I mean, what, what does the future look like for you? Yeah, um, I'm looking at colleges, and I'm taking the SATs in June, so uh, I have a lot to look forward to. Mm. Yeah. Emily, there's so many people and kids who may find themselves in a similar situation, and your father used the word fight. Yes. Where did you find it within you? Because at the end of the day, it was your battle to fight, if you will. Where did that resilience come from, that faith? What's in there? Yeah, my parents really kept me going. And um, my mom, she read with me. We love books. We still do. And my dad told me to find something to smile about every day. Mm. And that's what really kept me going. Mm. Wow. Yep. I could hear. I'm just watching you two, listening to her as a bright 17-year-old. I mean, how are you guys feeling? Mm. We couldn't be more proud of her, you know. And um, she has a lot of great things. She kind of has interest in maybe becoming a filmmaker, and she mm. even got to spend a day on set with Steven Spielberg, oh, watching wow. him direct wow. West Side Story. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. We've goodness. been working many <laughs> you years. You buried the lead. That's what we say in our business. <laughs> We've been uh, uh, working many years uh, to spread more awareness, and part of that is that we have a documentary film ready with Oscar winner Ross Kaufman, mm. and it just got accepted in the Tribeca Film Festival. Wow. And it's called Of Medicine and Miracles, so maybe you guys can come and watch it with us. My Absolutely. That's fantastic. That's and our Emily Whitehead Foundation, people People reach out to us every day, and our mission every day is to pay it forward and, and help so many other families have the same outcome as us. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure your story will, will go far this morning. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so Congratulations, much. Thank and God bless you, too, yeah. We doctors. appreciate you Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Great to be this here. This awareness will save other, other yeah, children. Hope so. Yep, so. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.